Well, in this session, we're going to learn all about lenses, different type of lenses. Well, when we look at lenses, they come in many different shape, shapes and, and, and sizes. A uh, wide angle lens that we have pictured here, a 15 millimeter, will allow us to get almost like a fisheye type of an effect because of the roundness of the lens. Uh, and we can see here with the uh, Volkswagen Beetle and also with uh, this uh, town hall that was shot, it almost looks distorted, of course, a little bit. And that is, of course, the look of that particular uh, uh, lens and what it looks like. Now, you don't want to overdo this too much, but it can be very useful sometimes, you know, with landscape photography or interior photography where you need to make that room look perhaps a little bit bigger. And anything less than 35 millimeters is considered a wide angle lens. And when you get down into the 10 to 15 millimeter, then you've got uh, sometimes what's called a fisheye lens. Generally, they're, they're a lot more expensive, this kind of a lens. Well, telephoto lens is a very useful lens as well here. Now, these are generally beyond the 80 millimeter in length. So you got about a 300 up to 300 millimeter lens, 80 for a short telephoto, 300 for long telephoto. And you would use these in, in the portraits, wildlife uh, shooting, sports photography. Quite often you'll see a, a bank of white lenses on the side of a, uh, let's say, a football game would be a good example. And those are all the telephoto type lenses that are getting those nice close-up shots of the, uh, the players. And so they blur the background and the foreground better than a wide angle. Now, camera shake can be exaggerated because of the length of these, so quite often you'll see them sitting on a, a monopod or a tripod of some sort, and they nowadays have some image stabilization built into it as well, which can be very useful. Super telephoto. Well, this is longer than a 300 millimeter, so now you're into 400, 500, 600, and it's used when uh, photographing distant objects and subjects that are not easily approachable, like a hawk, eagle. Macro lenses, we sort of touched base a little bit on these before, and they uh, do give a uh, superb result for close-ups. Uh, they uh, are better than a zoom lens's macro mode, and uh, they give you a very shallow depth of field, so the f-stops are generally uh, required, the high f-stops. Now the zoom lens, uh, these are, these are uh, more popular than the prime lens because they cover a large focal length. So you could go, in other words, from 10 to 22, so you get a range of um, you know, zooms that you can get. 35 to 105 is very popular. You know, 70 to 300 is one I carry in a kit with me, the telephoto zoom. And uh, so these ones here are a nice complement to your basic kit lens that you may get. Uh, something that you may have that runs maybe, you know, 35 to 55 uh, millimeter. Then you have something that will take you from 55 or 70 uh, up higher. And quite often they'll cover quite a range of work that you can do. And this is called the zoom lens. And it's uh, the ideal add-on to the basic digital SLR camera. Uh, and for many people, they may never have to buy another lens. Well, with this uh, quick little... Uh, look at lenses. Let's go out and shoot and have some fun and look forward to seeing you in the next session.